advertising is all, emo all about emotional manipulation. Um, most you know, TV shows are emotional manipulation uh, movies. And I would submit to you also, the news is not just um, political manipulation, it's emotional manipulation. Um, and there have, uh, uh, there were actually uh, various kinds of uh, programs in the past that were used in order to uh, manipulate people into liking certain brands from the time they were little children. Um, uh, using using advertising, using cartoons. Um, uh, children are <coughs> inclined towards certain brands of cars from the time they're five years old by watching all these cartoons. Um, it's really quite insidious um, how how deeply it permeates our society. <coughs> you can look at you can look at a lot of the. Uh, um, political programming on on the mainstream media and it's all about creating an emotional attachment and emotional manipulation um, to support certain kinds of policies and certain kinds of things um, you can see that with with all of the wars that have been that have been fought you can see that with all sorts of um, of other things so uh, we're not in a new in a neutral environment we're in a, an environment that uh, seeks to manipulate us using our emotions and using our passions. Um, and uh, very often um, it's with the, uh, with the gratification of those passions in mind so that you buy certain brands, that you go certain places, you, you do certain things. It's all very insidious. <coughs> um, but, and so there's a kind of a, a um, a short a shortcut being programmed into us um, by our society, and so it's not uh, it's not something that we can't overcome. We certainly can, but the question is, are we going to be conscious enough to do so? Because really, what what all of this comes down to is being really conscious of what's going on around us and and um, and how we're living our lives and and the decisions we make and. You know, looking into what are the what are the various elements that are manipulating our decisions.